Sam, it's good to see you today. Hey. How's uh, things going your way? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. Anything, um, you know, big that might be bothering you or anything that's, um, you know, out of the ordinary that we haven't talked about before? Uh, yeah, I suppose my, uh, my, you know, little sister and my, and my mom have been kind of driving me nuts lately. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on there? Well, my little sister still lives at home and, and with my mom and, and my mom is, uh, constantly just, you know, letting her get away with whatever she wants and do whatever she wants and, and, you know, I just feel like she's turned into a little terror and taking advantage of mom and mom's not doing much about it. She's, it's almost like she's tired of being a parent. Okay. How old is your sister? Uh, 16. Okay. So she's at that age that's probably uh, difficult. Yeah, she's, she's a teen, and I suppose all teens are difficult to deal with. But, you know, it's a single mom scenario, so you always have the excuse of, well, there's no dad, so she can be, you know, kind of that way. But really, you know, there shouldn't be an excuse for letting her behave the way she behaves. Okay. So how are you... How are you brought in the situation? Okay. So, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, my mom will call me and complain and complain and complain about my little sister and say how she's ungrateful and doesn't want to get a job and doesn't do her chores. But then, you know, my sister will, you know, not be punished for not doing it either. She'll just kind of do whatever she wants and leave. And then when she wants special privileges, my mom will still give it to her. And, you know, she doesn't really scold her or ground her, it seems like. Okay, so you feel a bit confused about why is your mom complaining to you if she's not going to make a difference or attempt to make a difference in how your sister behaves? Yeah, I guess part of me is annoyed. Like, I'm tired of hearing someone complain about something that they have no intentions to do anything about. And at the same time, worried that, you know, my sister's going to go down the wrong road and end up being a dumb homeless idiot because she doesn't have the guidance that she needs and and even a little concern for my mom that my sister's going to who knows cause her harm or you know put her in some sort of danger okay so you you feel fearful for your mom it sounds like in in the potential situation that your sister may not be thinking correctly and she actually would cause harm or put my mom put your mom in a dangerous position yeah, I mean, it's always a, a fear. It's uh, so I don't know. You know, like I said, I'm just kind of stressed out because I feel like I'm caught in the middle, and you know, my sister. I'm trying to be the, the big brother that she wants me to be, and and act like I understand her behaviors, her concerns, and and to some extent I do. I understand that she's lacking that guidance, um, and I try to offer that guidance, but it seems like if I try to offer it too much I come off as the parent and then she just doesn't want to respect me and gets annoyed by me and I don't want that type of relationship with her either. Yeah that's understandable. Uh, you feel um, you feel I guess it sounds like you feel frustrated because you cannot seem to um, give stuff that she's capable of changing for herself. I mean you give advice and she's not taking it. Um, but you certainly want to be able to be that guidance for her since she does not have a role, um, a male role model in her life. But it doesn't seem that she's taking on to that. Um, so, you know, I, I want to be there for her. And I, I love being able to offer advice. And, and I think that's great that she can come to me for it. But I feel like the direction I'm going is I'm starting to impose the advice it's no longer offered at her request and when I'm imposing it on her it seems more like I'm annoying her than helping and so I try to walk that fine line of of not making her feel like I'm parenting her but at the same time I, I don't want to watch her go down a bad road just because I don't want to hurt my relationship you know almost like the the parent child conundrum where you got to be a parent first and a friend second you don't want them to hate you but you also have to be the parent but I feel like I'm being forced into that role. I don't want her to hate me, and I shouldn't have to be the parent. But if I don't, who will? Yeah. Right. That's understandable, especially when your mom has taken, like, a backseat role and she doesn't follow through with. Because um, you definitely, you, like you said, you don't want to see them go down a bad path. But whatever you're offering is not working, and you have to be careful with that position because, like you said, you're 
um, you know, a sibling and not a parent, which as soon as they look at you as a parent, then that relationship starts to change and um, right. obviously they're not going to want to respect you or listen to you as much. How does your mom react to you giving her advice? Like, is that welcoming? Is it not welcoming? Um, you know, when I try to give my mom advice, she, you know, acts like she agrees, but she never really listens. You know, I'll say she needs to take control and rein it in, and she might for a day, might do one thing, but then she just gives in, and she'll say she's just tired of dealing with it. I mean, she just doesn't seem to respond the way she should. Yeah. Okay, so you feel um, probably exhausted with you know, the two in their relationship because obviously they can't talk to each other, so they're both coming to you and uh, whatever you're offering is really not being utilized, so you're probably at a dead end of where right. do you go and what do you do? I don't know if they actually want my advice. It seems more like they want my affirmation. They both want me to agree with them as if they're growing the army on their side, but when I come at both of them with a different direction, you know, they quickly see that I'm not on their side the way they both think they are. I mean, I'm not on my sister's side because she's just not listening. She's being disrespectful and she's doing what she wants. And I'm not on my mom's side because complain all you want, but you're the one not taking a parental role. If, if she's not listening, then take control. If taking control doesn't work, then, then, you know, put her in a boot camp. I mean, I do something. Don't just mm -hmm. let her walk all over you. Okay. So you feel helpless from where you're at because if neither one can listen to you, then it, it's going to be a downhill battle, obviously. Right. I mean, even not that long ago, my sister, you know, ran away for a day or two with a boyfriend and stayed overnight at like a McDonald's or something. And, you know, my mom got pissed off and couldn't get a hold of her. So then she, uh, you know, locked her out of the house the next day. And that was her way of saying, you're no longer welcome here. Well, you're no longer welcome here doesn't seem to punish. It just encourages her to stay out and do what she wants. Okay. So... So she's using um, techniques that are um, inadequate and in actually making permanent changes with your sister. Right. It almost seems like her her way of handling the situation is more, you know, I don't know, just deleterious to the entire situation and, and May's uh, future as opposed to, um, you know, benefiting it. Gotcha. That's understandable. I can see how you feel, um, you know completely hopeless in that they'll actually a either listen to you and try to make some permanent changes or um, hopeless that they would ever even want to reach out to even somebody else you know perhaps counseling or other parenting resources um, because if she doesn't want to make changes with her by herself then I would imagine it would be hard harder even for her to reach out to somebody else besides family yeah I mean you're probably right I just uh you know, I don't know. I try to recommend some, some books and stuff to my mom, hoping that she would read, but she's not much of a reader, so I don't know if she would even put forth the effort. And I've definitely recommended counseling. I've even tried to find them a counselor and, and point her in that direction. I've offered to even pay for it if that was the issue, but it just seems like they're not that interested in going. And, and you know, when they did start going together one time, my sister just didn't want to go, and so my mom just said, well, I can't make her go. And my thoughts is, yeah, you can. You know, take away her phone if she doesn't go. Give her some sort of a punishment more than just, I can't make her go, you know? Okay. So you feel discouraged, obviously, with the fact that um, your mom's willing, unwilling to follow through with something that could have actually potentially uh, helped them out. Right. I mean, you finally, they did finally get counseling set up one time. So I thought, okay, they're making steps in the right direction, and this could be. This could be good for both of them for the relationship and, and you know, maybe you'll start to see some things work out. But like I said, they went one time and my sister just didn't like it and felt uncomfortable, which is obvious because it's another adult and another adult is telling her that, hey, you're in the wrong. And she needs to hear that from someone other than her mom. But, you know, she's at that age where if anybody else tells her she's done something wrong, she just assumes they're also, you know, ignorant. Gotcha. It, it almost sounds like she has a um, problem with, anybody that has authority or anybody older telling her to do something it seems like that's an issue um, I can definitely see how you would get um, you know overwhelmed by what each of them are bringing to you and and today you've showed me um, you know a, a big insight on how why you feel that way because you're getting kinda 
pulled in both directions and even though you're working hard to try and help them neither one of them really want to make a any changes really to make it a permanent change and it's just more like you're the venting tool and then that's it or like you said they just want affirmation and they don't actually want or can maybe lack motivation to dedicate themselves into changing so i'm glad that you brought this to me today and um hopefully um something will change in that relationship and you know maybe it won't be you because obviously you know you've tried numerous routes and um, none of them are panning out on their end so hopefully by the next time we talk we can um, come across something that maybe um, has changed for the better and we'll go from there sounds good thank you thanks